very upset, you know. He wanted to have a child as soon as possible. I wouldn't leave him for work like you do. So I told him I wanted to have a baby with him. I just listened to my friend's screams in a daze. We had many problems, but I still loved my husband. And I thought I had a good relationship with him. But it seems I was the only one who thought so. My name is Kyla. I am 30 years old. I am a system engineer by profession. A year ago, I got married to Elliot. We were good friends in college, but after graduation, we drifted apart for a while. We met again by chance three years ago and have kept in touch since then. My husband can be a little bossy at times, but he is a cheerful and kind person. I was exhausted from my work, and I was attracted to his cheerful personality. About a year into our relationship, my husband asked me if I would like to live with him. I was feeling lonely because we didn't have time to see each other, so I gladly accepted the proposal. However, someone came along to put a stop to it. It was his mother. No, it's not good. You shouldn't live together before marriage. If you want to live together, get married first. I was baffled when my mother-in-law said that. In some way, I thought my mother-in-law had a point. But I felt uncomfortable with the way she interfered with her 27-year-old adult son. I was raised by my parents to make my own decisions. And my parents always respected my wishes. Having been raised in this way, my mother-in-law's opinions were strange to me. But more than that, I couldn't understand how my husband obeys my mother-in-law's opinion. Well, why don't we get married then? We talked and talked. I learned that there are many people like my mother-in-law. In the end, I decided to marry my husband because I loved him and wanted to be with him. But it didn't stop there. My mother-in-law also began to meddle in our new home. It should be close to my son's work. It should be close to my house. Not only that, she wanted us to buy a house. I couldn't take it anymore, so I decided to talk to my mother-in-law directly. Elliot and I will talk about the house on our own. I'm saying this because I care about your future, you know? I know, I appreciate that. But we want to make our own decisions. My parents respected our opinion. Then my mother-in-law laughed at my words. It was like she was looking down on me. I'm sorry to say this, but I think the reason your parents didn't interfere is that they don't care about you enough, don't they? What do you mean? I mean, your parents are doctors, right? And you are not. My mother-in-law's right. Both my parents are doctors. But I never wanted to be a doctor. My parents never told me to be a doctor either. I never thought that someone, my husband's mother, would say such a thing to me. When I was shocked and kept silent, my husband said to my mother-in-law, Mom, that's enough. But my mother-in-law, not liking the fact that my husband defended me, became grumpy. There, she never spoke further. I have always felt that my mother-in-law and I don't get along, personality-wise. After that, my mother-in-law's opinion and mine continued to be at odds with each other. My husband, on the other hand, tries to put a good face on both sides. So there was no solutions at all. Finally, my husband found a new condo for us. It was convenient for my husband and my work, and also close to my in-laws house. I was starting to feel sorry for my husband, who was caught between me and my mother-in-law. I was also getting tired, and didn't want to prolong the problem. We settled on buying the condo that my husband had worked so hard to find for us. My mother-in-law reluctantly backed out, after my father-in-law warned her about it. And yet, she was not happy that it was not a house. 
we spend most of our savings on a down payment for the condo. Still, we were happy with the convenience of the new place. But the battle between my mother-in-law and me had just begun. My mother-in-law had always interfered in many ways. I soon realized that she had been reserved before we got married. Right after we got married, she started sending me messages like this every day. Are the grandchildren here yet? When are you going to quit your job? The emotional strain was so bad that I talked to my husband about it. I don't think mom means any harm. That's what my husband told me. I realized that my husband was unreliable when it came to my mother-in-law. I told my mother-in-law that we would decide what to do about the children on our own. And I told her I wasn't going to quit my job. Then she cried to my husband. I'm trying to do what's best for her, but she won't listen to me at all. Kyla must have hated me from the beginning. She's paranoid. My husband doesn't fully believe my mother-in-law, but mom is a sensitive person. So please be a little more gentle with her. That's what my husband said. I realized that he doesn't know his own mother at all. I mean, how could she be so sensitive if she was so determined to push her opinions through? I was so fed up that I decided not to have anything to do with my mother-in-law. Whenever she said something to me, I would say, please ask my husband. But I didn't think I could live with this forever. Then, my boss told me about an overseas assignment. I definitely wanted to go. And I begged my husband to let me go abroad. He was reluctant at first. But I didn't give up trying to persuade him. Honey, I will try to build a better relationship with your mother when I came back. I finally convinced him. Even though it was only for a year, and I was so happy with the opportunity. Six months has passed, and my work has going well, and I was having a very rewarding time. Then I received a phone call from someone I wasn't expected. It's been a long time, Kyla. Remember me? Vicky! Of course I do. It's been a long time. What's up? It was Vicky from college. I hadn't seen Vicky since we graduated from college. I was happy to receive a call from an old friend. But I wondered why she called me. I'm dating Elliot. What? Elliot said he was breaking up with you. So, Kyla, if he says he wants a divorce, please don't be stubborn and divorce him. Vicky said something really shocking. What? Wait a minute. What do you mean you are dating Elliot? Does it mean you are having an affair? No, it's not just an affair. I've always loved him. All these years, you know? If you hadn't interfered, I would have had married Elliot. Vicky's words shocked me. Immediately, I remembered that I had heard a rumor that Vicky liked Elliot. But that was about seven years ago. And Vicky had a boyfriend when we were in college. No wonder I had completely forgotten about it. Vicky was so upset that she began to speak in a rumbling manner. That she had been in love with my husband since we were in college. But he had a girlfriend, so she gave up and got a boyfriend of her own. And when she heard that Elliot had broken up with the girlfriend, she knew she wanted to be in a relationship with him this time. And before she knew, he was dating me and got married. I've always loved him. But now that you two are married, I thought I would finally have to give up this time. Then I heard that you left Elliot and went overseas. I just couldn't stand there and do nothing. I remember Vicky being rather innocent and quiet. So I was overwhelmed by her unexpected side. Vicky seemed to approach my husband as soon as she found out that I was assigned abroad. According to Vicky's story, 
my husband at first didn't take her seriously. But as a result of her intense approach, he started an affair with her. I'll pay you alimony. So you have to leave Elliot. But wait a minute. I'm still confused. This is too much to take in. I need time to sort things out. Okay? Vicky was still saying something, but I hung up the phone. I got the impression from the phone call that Vicky was very attached to my husband. If I believe Vicky's story, she and my husband are having an affair. However, I felt it was dangerous to believe Vicky's stories only without hearing anything from my husband. In the meantime, I will contact my husband when I have a chance to make up my mind. I thought so, but I underestimated Vicky's love for him. Then Vicky sent me the audio data. When I listened to it, I found that my husband was saying he wanted to divorce me and remarry Vicky. I also received other evidence of the affair, such as compromising photos of the two. Vicky and my husband seemed to be very close to each other, literally. There were also files of the conversations among them, including my mother in law. My mother in law had always been opposed to my going abroad. Naturally, she wanted me to divorce Elliot and Vicky to remarry him. Their conversation was full of bad things about me. Hearing that, I knew I had no choice but to divorce my husband. But to get a divorce, I had to come back home for the formalities. But I was pretty occupied with work and couldn't take the time off. Just when I was in trouble, I received a call from my husband. I answered the call nervously. Hey, it's me, Kala. I filed for divorce. What? And I will take the house. You can stay there and work. Even if you come back, you won't have a home anymore. Okay? I was speechless at this unexpected turn of events. What do you mean you filed for divorce? Isn't that too absurd? My husband's words took me by surprise at first. But at the same time, I was feeling a sense of joy. Now, Vicky wouldn't send me any more photos or audio data. My mind had been exhausted by the data that had been piling up without being able to erase it because it was evidence of their affair. The moment I thought that she would stop sending them to me, my heart became lighter. Okay, I understand. Okay? Yeah, we're getting a divorce, right? I'm okay with that. I readily and happily agreed. I guess he didn't expect that. And my husband was upset. Are you sure about this? We're getting a divorce. Yes, I'm sure. I heard rustling on the other end of the phone, and I heard my husband talking to someone. I thought it was Vicky, but it was my mother in law. He said she wanted to talk to me too. Hey, Kyler. Hi, it's been a while. As you probably heard from Elliot, but we're already in the process of getting divorced. And there is no home for you to come back to. My mother in law said the same thing as my husband. I didn't want to interrupt her, so I kept my mouth shut. My mother in law took advantage of my silence to say whatever she wanted. I was against your marriage from the beginning, you know. Leaving your husband to go abroad for work. It's beyond insane. I told you to have children as soon as possible. But you wouldn't listen to me. You are the reason for this divorce. Don't think you are going to get alimony. There were so many things I wanted to say to her. But I knew she was not the kind of person who listens to me. I was feeling like I was going crazy even just listening to her. Then I realized something. I'm divorced from my husband, which means that the person I'm talking to is a stranger to me. I don't have to care about her, and I don't have to listen to her. I've had enough of her over involvement in my life, but I had to put up with it because she was my husband's mother. Now that we're strangers, I don't have to put up with anything anymore. 
Sorry, but can I go now? I beg your pardon? My mother in law voice her displeasure at my interruption. I'm busy. I'll get off the phone now. You, wait a minute. No, I gotta go. I don't think I'll ever speak to you again. I wish you well. Ciao. My mother in law was still saying something, but I didn't care and hung up. I was so exhilarated. I loved my husband. But I knew I couldn't continue to be married to him. I felt refreshed. But the story didn't end there. After three months passed, my ex husband started calling me over and over again like crazy. At first, I ignored the calls. But then I decided that if he was calling this often, then something terrible must have happened. I decided to answer the phone. Kyla, thank God. What is it? You've been calling a lot. I need you. For a moment, I didn't understand what my ex husband was saying. All I understood was that I shouldn't answer the phone. We can't start over. It's not too late. What do you mean it's not too late? You didn't file for divorce? I did. But why don't we just get married again? I tried not to laugh. Come to think of it, my ex husband doesn't know that I know about his infidelity. Married again? You married Vicky, didn't you? What? How did you know? Vicky sent me a picture of the two of you holding the marriage certificate. Don't tell me you and Vicky are divorced already. What? No, not yet. They are not divorced yet. Well, I guess that should be true. Cause Vicky was so obsessed with you. I don't think she would agree to divorce you so easily after all. Well, but all you have to do is file for divorce, right? I'm telling you, it's not a good idea. Then what am I supposed to do? Why don't you just be happy with Vicky? She seems to be good with your mom. Above all, she loves you very much, doesn't she? I had a lot of bad things to say about my cheated ex husband, but I didn't want anything to do with him anymore. I don't want to be with her anymore. That's impossible. Vicky deceived on me. Deceived? What do you mean? I asked my ex husband in doubt. He thought he could get a lot of money by marrying Vicky. I had a pretty good idea about the money. Vicky showed me the amount of money she was saving to be with me. But as soon as we got married, she said she didn't have it because she used it to marry me. Yeah, that's alimony for me. For Elliot. Didn't understand what that meant, so I kindly explained to him what it meant. You see, Vicky has prepared a large alimony payment for me. What? Why is that so? So that I wouldn't say, give Elliot back. I, I don't understand. I mean, that's how much she loves you. I'm so glad she loves you that much. Yes. The truth was, Vicky told me from the first time she contacted me. That she would pay me alimony if I would divorce him. I didn't believe her words, but Vicky contacted me again when she found out about our divorce and wanted to pay me alimony. I gave her my bank account info and she paid me $60,000. I was so surprised that I contacted Vicky and she told me, Take the money, but you have to stay away from Elliot forever. I contacted her several times after that, but her answer was always the same. I was at a loss, so I asked a friend for advice. If she says she'll give it to you, why don't you just take it? Also, you haven't even divided the property, have you? That was right. So I decided to take it. I am sure if I asked for a share of the property and alimony for the affair, it would have amounted to quite a lot of money. But $60,000 from her 
was still too much. It would be best not to tell my ex-husband about it. That's not right. Give me back my money. It's not your money. It's Vicky's money. If she wants it back, I'll pay back what she paid more than the market price. Really? You will? Then Vicky's voice came from behind my ex-husband. Elliot? My ex-husband quickly hung up the phone. I never heard from him again. After a while, one of my college friends told me that Vicky was very restrictive and had erased my contact information from his phone. When he told her about the alimony, she went crazy and asked him if he was just looking for money. Not only that, but Vicky was also jealous of my ex-mother-in-law. The good relationship they had before their marriage seems to have turned hostile toward each other. My ex-husband seems to be mentally trapped by Vicky's restrictive behavior. My mother-in-law thought she had found the perfect wife for her son this time, but she must have been wrong. She now has trouble even communicating with her beloved son. I think it's tragic just to hear about it. If I had not gone abroad at that time, it might have been even more tragic. When I think about it, every day I am so glad that I left. I recently have been offered to extend my overseas assignment from one year to three years. Of course, I immediately agreed. I am now living a rewarding life dedicated to my work. Thank you for watching till the end. Please subscribe to our channel if you like. See you in the next video.